Hello friend. I hope you're doing well. Out of love and because of a desire we have to encourage folks, we thought of making this little video or short message. Sometimes times are very difficult. Like at this moment, uh, certainly there could be much fear, anxiety, worries, trouble, uncertainty, but it is possible still to go in peace, to go in peace, to have true peace. One day Jesus Christ said this to a woman. He said to a woman, thy faith hath saved the go in peace go in peace thy faith your faith has delivered you saved you go in peace go in peace jesus christ the son of god god almighty can offer this and deliver this even in our present situation and here in this situation, when Jesus is talking to this lady, he's not just talking about things of this world or everyday living or problems we might have in our lives. He is actually talking about eternal things, an eternal peace, an eternal deliverance or salvation, and a deep, profound, spiritual, and soul peace that He offers, that He wants to give, that you and I can have, just like this lady here. This lady, actually, I'm in the book of Luke, in the Bible, chapter 7, and this lady, we are actually told um, <clears throat> that there was a woman, this lady, in the city which was a sinner she was a sinner she was not a good person she had a reputation she had actions and deeds that were not right now you can I can you and I can choose to judge her and think well I'm, I'm not like her I'm a good person or something like that but my dear friend the truth is neither myself or yourself we are not good persons the bible is very clear that all have sinned and come short of the glory of god all have sinned and come short of the glory of god if you consider any single human being on earth there's not one person that has not disobeyed the laws, the commandments of God. We have broken the commandments of God. We are guilty before our Creator, our Maker. We're guilty before Him. Not just we're guilty before Him. It says that we come short of the glory of God, which means we cannot have, we cannot reach, we cannot attain. We do not deserve to be received by God. It's like here even on earth or in our country if someone breaks the law there are prisons and in reality we don't put people in prisons because they didn't do enough good we put people in prisons because they broke the law if you and i broke the law of god even if we try to be good people if we broke the law of god we deserve eternal punishment Oh, God is ready to deliver us. God is capable of delivering us. He wants to give us His peace. But we must realize our condition, just like this woman. Remember, Jesus said, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. This is available for you and me, as I said. But we must be honest like this lady and realize we are guilty. You know, this lady, actually, we are told that she knew where Jesus was and she went 
in the house where he was, she stood at his feet, at Jesus' feet, and she wept. She began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hair of her head. <clears throat> and also then she anointed him with ointment. Like she anointed, poured like perfume on her feet, on his feet, sorry, his feet. Um, and, and she did that. She really humbled herself. She realized her need. She was looking for something. True peace, true forgiveness that only Jesus Christ can give, the Lord God. Only he can give that. She wanted that. She was ready to turn from her wrong ways and go to Christ, turn to him. She humbled herself before him. And we are actually told that Jesus said, thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace, like I said before. In reality, also another thing, Jesus declares very clearly that her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. She had many sins, probably like you and I, but she went to Jesus wanting forgiveness, which only Jesus can do. A man cannot forgive you or for, forgive your sins, but Jesus can do that. And Jesus is very clear and says to her, thy sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. The debt of your sins has been paid. Jesus is very clear. This lady was ready to turn from her sin and Go to Jesus and trust in Jesus and hope in Jesus and the reality that Jesus is the Savior. You see, we know Jesus died on the cross, but we must realize we, as people who have disobeyed God, we should have been hung on the tree. We should have been punished for our sins. But Jesus paid the ransom, the debt of our sins. He was ready to die for us. And he offers true peace, my friend. This is available for you and I in this situation, in this time right now, and in reality as we are alive. Jesus is capable of delivering you from the judgment and giving you a true peace so that you can go your way in peace, knowing that your sins are forgiven even if you die. There's a place for you in God's house, in heaven. And also that since Jesus can take care of your soul, he can certainly take care of your situation here on earth to take care of you and protect you and provide for you. He can do that. I would like to encourage you to choose to go to Jesus Christ and ask him for forgiveness and salvation and for his peace. I hope this was a blessing. If you want to, you can contact, contact us at eglisebaptistedemontreal.ca It would be a pleasure to try to be a blessing to you and help you. Bye-bye.